previously. For those people who don't know how to socialize but then really want to socialize or try to socialize, I will make a video in the future to talk about how I socialize with people. Hello guys, this is Josh. As promised, I'm going to share some easy ways to be more social. When it comes to talking about socializing, I can be talking about this for days because there are so many things that you can include, things that you have to be aware and things you have to prepare. To not make it too complicated, this episode is going to focus on the fundamental part. I'm not gonna go too deep about it, so it's easier for you to understand. I will provide three tips for you if you want to start socializing with people. And the last one is the most important. Before we begin, I just want to talk about why we need to socialize with people. The reason we have to socialize with people is that we are human beings. We live in a society that you have to communicate, you have to talk to people, you have to socialize with people in order to survive in this society. Unless you live in the woods and you know how to hunt, you know how to build a house for yourself. And no, I'm not talking about Minecraft. What I'm saying is you need to make money in order for you to survive in this society, right? To make money, you have to get a job. To get a job, you need your social skills or you have to start your business. And both options include socializing with people. Isn't it nice? Also, if you want to build your career, you have to socialize with people and to know more people. As a result, you'll be able to be promoted or go to a new company. Anyway, let's get to the three tips that I want to share today. Tip number one, take initiative. If you want to be more social, you have to start the conversation by yourself. You don't just sit there and you wait for people to come and talk to you. And let me be honest, seven years ago, that's what I did. I wouldn't talk to people unless they come and talk to me. I was afraid of starting a conversation with strangers. I was definitely more passive. I used to use the excuse that, oh, I cannot socialize because I'm an introvert. Well, at least I was an introvert. Or like, I'm too shy to talk to people. My other excuse was that my English was really bad seven years ago. So if you like how I was, afraid of talking to people, taking the initiative, then I will recommend you to say hi to strangers. So you don't have to make a conversation yet with strangers, just say hi. Let's say every morning you walk to the bus stop and you take the bus to go to school or go to work. When you're waiting for the bus, you're probably on your phone doing something or nothing. When you see people coming to the bus stop, you say hi, how's it going? And that's it. That's all you need to do. Normally, people would just say hi back to you or say good, how are you? Abnormally, people may ignore you and just walk away. You're probably gonna ask why does it have to do with being more social? If you are the one saying hi before others, then you are taking the initiative. By doing that, you're training yourself to be more open to the world and instead of like waiting for something to happen to you, saying hi is the beginning of making a conversation. Once you do it for a couple days, a couple months, depends on how comfortable you are, then you will start feeling more comfortable with people around you. I can say hi to them and that is not an issue for you anymore. Social tip number two, find a common ground. So this is a tip for you if you're ready to start a conversation with strangers. Instead of just saying hi, you're now making a conversation with strangers. In order to start a conversation, finding common ground is the easiest way to expand the conversation from just saying hi. Also, finding common ground can make this conversation more interesting and easier to flow. Let's say I'm walking to a Lego store, which I don't, I don't think I've been to one. Maybe I've, maybe... Anyway, I'm in store right now looking at Lego cars and I want to start a conversation with somebody just to, you know, be more social. So I see a young guy like my age, he is looking at the Lego car, the Ferrari Lego car. Just imagine if I start a conversation with, how would you like your steak to be? Uh? He may have a several reactions. Sorry, what do you mean? Uh, I am not too sure. I think medium rare is my favorite. I don't know, it may be a horrible example, but... 
to improve the conversation, I would try to find the common ground. Let's say I know that he's looking at the Ferrari Lego car. I would be like, oh, I also like that Ferrari Lego car. What other Lego cars do you like? And he may be like, oh, I really like this. This is my favorite. Um, yeah, I also like to collect this, this, da, 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 da. So based on this conversation, I am the one making the connection between his interest and my interest. So we both like the Ferrari Lego car. If I make a conversation from that specific interest, then the conversation will likely to grow. And that is the power of finding the common ground when you try to make a conversation. For me, that's the easiest way to start a conversation and get to know about this individual. Social tip number three would be just take it easy. Once you start saying hi to people, you learn and then you will be more comfortable to make a conversation with people. And that's great if everything is gonna be just perfect. No, it's not gonna be like that. It's gonna be difficult. The more you do it, the more you find that some people are really nice. They will listen to you. But then on the other hand, maybe people will just walk away or be mean to you. Whatever people's reactions are, they don't define who you are as a person because that is their perspective. It's not necessarily the truth. When someone says that you're such a nice person versus when someone says you're such a horrible person, they don't mean that you're actually like that. That is just a perspective. The fact is nobody knows more about you than you do. So when you take seriously about people's comments towards you, then you're not gonna feel that comfortable socializing with people. You're gonna play defense instead of being offense. You will close yourself. You won't have the courage to talk to more people. That's why I'm saying this is the most important tip. You have to take it easy. Making the conversation, saying hi to people. Some people like it, some people don't. It's the same concept as maybe some people like you, maybe they don't. And it's just how it is in this world. If you focus on the ones who don't like you and don't like to make conversation with you, then you're wasting your time. Instead, if you have a group of people who you like to socialize with and who are willing to listen to you, then maybe this group is better than that group. Also, since you have the social skills, after practicing for so long, you will be able to expand your social group and pick the one that you like. So in the next video, I'm even gonna go deeper when it comes to socializing and I'm gonna share more tips with you. That's it for this video. I hope you like it and let me know if it's helpful. Comment below, let me know how I can improve and I'll see you next time. Bye.